like me, you're probably not too impressed with the current run of Spider-Man comics. Which is why in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why Jonathan Hickman's Ultimate Spider-Man coming in 2024 is going to be everything that we have wanted for such a long time. My name is Lewis and welcome to the channel that loves Spider-Man just as much as you do. Back in the year 2000, Marvel decided to reboot the Spider-Man character. However, the main version of Spider-Man that existed within the 616 universe would still go on, but the rebranded version of the character called Ultimate Spider-Man was to be a modern retelling of the character. Ultimate Spider-Man went on to revolutionize the Spider-Man character as a whole, introducing modern themes, introducing new characters, and also reinventing old ones too. Not only that, it went on to influence some of your favorite pieces of Spider-Man media, like the Sam Raimi and Mark Webb movies, plenty of television shows, games, and even the 616 comics themselves. Not to mention, this was the infamous comic book that introduced Miles Morales, a now fan-favorite character. Miles became so popular with fans in such a short amount of time that it kind of feels like he's been around forever. It's like really weird that he was invented 10 years ago. Either way, this run is not only my favorite run of Spider-Man of all time, but is many others' favorites as well. Well, guess what? It's about to happen again. I'm like a little kid on Christmas. This January 2024, Ultimate Spider-Man is back with a brand new Ultimate Universe at the helm of it. This whole project is going to be speared by comic writer Jonathan Hickman. Now, since my last video I made updating you guys on the situation, we've gotten some pretty interesting and quite frankly major story details for the book as well. But before we get into all the nitty gritty stuff, first of all, let's start with what we already know, just in case you aren't caught up. So very quickly, this version of the character will be written by Jonathan Hickman, as I said before, famous for his Fantastic Four and X-Men comics. These are very well received by fans, so it's safe to say that we're in safe hands. Peter Parker will be an older Spider-Man, with Hickman even describing him as the ultimate Peter B. Parker. The comic is also set to include other Spider-Men, including Ben Riley and Spider-Man 2099, but will also include Peter wearing the symbiote suit as well. And last but certainly not least, this version of Peter Parker won't be bitten by the spider until he is a lot older, closer to his mid-twenties or maybe even early thirties. The reason for this is during the Ultimate Invasion story arc, which is basically the event that Marvel used to reboot the Ultimate Universe, the Maker, who is an evil counterpart to Reed Richards, decided to take the spider that was meant to bite Peter Parker from early in the timeline meaning that he never actually gets bit. Which means Peter will become Spider-Man a lot further down the line than he initially did. So already, this is pretty interesting, I know. When this was first announced to be a comic dedicated around an older version of Peter Parker, people also craved the idea of having him get back together with Mary Jane again. And the reason for this is because obviously, as we know, in the 616 comics, the editorial do not like Peter and MJ being together. I have ranted about this so many times on so many videos, so we'll keep this short and sweet. In case you don't know, Peter and MJ were together all the way throughout the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s until Marvel Editorial decided to regress Peter Parker back to being a teenage-like superhero. Obviously, they didn't actually de-age him, but they regressed his marriage with Mary Jane, being so that it never happened. They thought this was good for the character, and obviously it's not. But either way, when this comic first got announced, we really wanted them to bring this back. And guess what? That's exactly what they are doing. A recent snapshot look at some variant covers for the series includes some major story details. The first one is a look at a bearded Peter Parker with Mary Jane Watson, seemingly confirming everyone's fantasy. Yes, Peter is back with Mary Jane. Finally! Not only does this mean that Peter and MJ will be together, but it means that since Peter likely won't become Spider-Man until he's older, Peter and MJ could have already been together and married for several years by that point. This means we'll have more of a settled and undisturbed version of Peter and MJ's marriage. Oh my god, the editorial are pooing themselves! Not only that, but it also means that we could be in for some very interesting character drama and slightly new ideas that Spider-Man has never tackled before. Never actually seen the concept of what if Peter got his powers when he was already in a relationship with Mary Jane play out. Like if they're already a married couple and they already have routines and they already have ways of doing things, how does this impact their relationship from this perspective? And how would Spider-Man impact their lives so late on? Who knows? But speaking of impacting their lives, it gets way more interesting. Not only will they be together, but they will have 
two kids. Yeah, you heard me right. They're going to have two kids. If you thought the stakes will be high, they just got even higher. It's unknown what these kids will be called, but it's assumed that if they are taking actual names that Marvel has used before for Peter Parker's kids, the girl will be called either Mayday Parker or May Parker or some variation of that name. There's also a chance that she'll be called Anna May Parker because Anna Watson and May Parker. It will be basically an amalgamation of Mary Jane's aunt and Peter Parker's aunt. And personally, I like like that name better because I think it best represents the amalgamation of Peter and Mary Jane as two characters as a whole. We can't forget Anna Watson was also a massive part of Mary Jane's life growing up since you know she comes from that abusive background. Anna Watson was the one that cared for her for such a long time so I think it's only right to put Anna May together for the one name. But obviously the most popular version of the name is Mayday and most people know Peter Parker's kid to be known as Mayday Parker so there's a big chance that they go with that as well. And for the boy he will most likely be called Benji or Ben or something some kind of name relating back to Uncle Ben. I mean, it's obvious, right? Uncle Ben, it, Ben, Benji, whatever it may be, who knows? Now, the next question people are going to have is, will the kids have spider powers? Probably not. You see, as I explained earlier, basically this version of Peter hasn't been bitten by the spider until his later years from what we know right now. Which means that most likely if he's already in a relationship with Mary Jane, he's most likely already had his kids as well before he gets bitten. Which means his kids will most likely not have spider powers. Just as this will impact his home life with MJ, this will also be a cool way to show something that we have never seen before in a spider dad sort of dynamic. Will his kids be accepting of him and what kind of role will they play? I'm not so sure. But either way, like I mentioned before, with how the dynamic between Peter and MJ is going to be a whole lot more different than it was in the 616 or even the original Ultimate comics, his kids aren't going to have spider powers and they're going to be born possibly before Peter even gets his powers. So how will his relationship with the kids work and how will it evolve as the story goes on? These are interesting dynamics and story beats that we have never seen in anything Spider-Man ever before. Which is why I'm so excited for this because it's something so true to the character but also something so fresh at the same time. But either way, are you excited for Ultimate Spider-Man? I definitely know I am. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because this is the channel that loves Spider-Man just as much as you do. Make sure to hit the bell notification button so you do not miss when I review Ultimate Spider-Man number one and probably the rest of the series when it comes out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.